Hi, this is Randy with SmoothieMakersHQ.com and today I thought I'd do a little bit different video rather than my normal reviews and that's just talk about my philosophies of, of how I go about making a smoothie. Um, I can make a smoothie in about five minutes that I think is very nutritious, has a lot of different ingredients and uh, that's everything. Um, and I just want to share with you uh, how I got to that point because frankly when I started out my smoothie making process including prep time, uh, making and cleaning up was about 30 minutes. Uh, and I just didn't have time. I found if I didn't make all my smoothies in the morning, um, you know, I might, uh, I, I wouldn't make them. I wouldn't drink them uh, because, you know, when I'm tired, I don't feel like pulling everything out and so forth. Now I do with the way I do this. But um, anyway, so I just want to share with you how I, some of my philosophies. And that basically is I try to make everything pre-prepared uh, as possible and that includes all my fruit is um, I buy a Gordon food service it's frozen in five pound bags I buy the mixed fruits uh, and I buy mango I buy pineapple occasionally I'll buy berries uh, strawberries blueberries uh, or uh, just uh, apples uh, but generally I will buy apples oranges and grapes at the grocery store um, and, and use those because I do believe you need to have a little bit of a base of soft fruit at the bottom down by the blades when you're starting. So, um, so all the fruits that I use, I, I buy in five pound bags and I freeze them. The other thing is vegetables. Uh, my green leafies, I buy, these also come from Gordon Food Service, um, but, uh, Costco has them and so forth, but spinach, these are two and a half pound bags of spinach, uh, pre, they're washed, they're ready to go. I don't do anything, I buy them, I stick them in the refrigerator, open them up and, and use them. The spinach is beautiful, uh, have no problems with that. The other thing is, um, the other greens that I use, um, I used to, and I still do occasionally, but Glory brand at my local grocer sells is this one pound bags, this is collard greens, they also sell kale, and uh, they say they have mustard greens, turnip greens, mixed greens. I haven't seen them at my local Kroger. The only thing I've been able to buy is uh, kale and collards. But what this is pre-washed, pre-cut up, uh, and it's all ready to use. I bring these home. I stick them in the freezer. I don't have to worry about these going bad. That was a thing when I bought fresh greens I was finding when I started by the time I used them all they would start getting bad they start getting slimy and you know occasionally I had to throw the stuff away and I hated doing that especially with the price I paid now I don't have to uh, the other advantage so that's why I save those bags by the way so I can bring my greens home clean them up cut them up stick them in the bags they work better for me than baggies they hold more the other thing is um, like uh, this happens to be cilantro um, Parsley, uh, mustard greens, greens that you're not going to use a whole lot of. I mean, when I use cilantro, depending on the batch or like this batch, I'll use just this much. Um, it just, you know, it just doesn't last when I was trying to store it fresh in the refrigerator. It would go bad and I hated pitching it. Uh, by me, I buy it, I, I clean it, I cut it, I stick it in these bags and stick them in the freezer. It's ready to go. Uh, so those to me are other advantages. Uh, like I said, I do prepare um, like orange. I'm going to put today in my smoothie as a base. I'm going to put an orange and I will peel this and uh, then we're just going to run through this and just see how long it takes me to, to make a smoothie. So um, now the one thing with my oranges uh, and any type, you want to use leave as much of the white pith on here as you can. So I use a potato peeler just to peel off the orange. Same thing if you use a lemon or a lime. So I'm going to do that. So I'm making this in as real time as I can for you. But the pith is where all the nutrients are. And you don't, that's not the bitter taste. Um, in fact, I find even now when I, if I just want to eat an orange, I do the same thing. Because frankly, I think it's quicker. But uh, I leave the pith on and um, it doesn't, for me, ruin the, the taste of the orange. But you can, you know, take just cut the orange if you like. But if you're going to make it in a smoothie, you definitely want to just leave as much as a pith. I mean, I have little spots of the orange. But then I just take and uh, cut this, cut the ends off, 
Probably don't even need to worry about doing that. Quarter it, drop it in, take uh, a good cup and a half, maybe even two cups of spinach. Got to get my kale. Love my kale. That's a good cup and a half. Stems and all. I don't know how the oyster is going to treat this. And there's just a little bunch of, of, uh, yeah, whatever it is. My mind starts with a C. <laughs> Cilantro. There we go. All right. So let's get this blended up. All right, now let's get the fruit. Do a little mango. I'm going to do a little mixed fruit in here. So the mixed fruit has uh, strawberries, pineapple, grapes, peaches. Um, so it's a great thing to use. Oh, I should mention, I did pre-fill the pitcher with water. Just to write, just a hair less than two cups. Here's my mango. Maybe a half cup. Frozen chunk for me. Probably shouldn't have done that one. Speaking. Okay. Oh, want to do a little stevia? <clears throat> just to give it a little more sweetener. Normally, if I was just the first smoothie of the day, I would act, add flaxseed to get my omega-3s, but um, I've already had my morning smoothie, so I don't need to add that. Mm. Sorry, I shouldn't have put those frozen ones in my mouth. So, I got a full uh, jar. This will be a good test. <laughs> Dances around a little bit. So I need to hold that. Which I would hold the lid anyways. Okay, so I'm not sure how long that took. If I had a second camera, I would put a stopwatch on it. But I've got a smoothie ready to go. Generally, I'd put it in a glass, but today, like I said, I've already had mine, so I'm going to put this in a uh, mason jar. That little bit I'll drink. And there you have it. Um, you know, dump the contents out, stick the rubber bands back on this. This is how I seal them up. Just stick a rubber band, stick it back in the freezer. The uh, spinach I don't freeze because I use that in salads. And uh, you're done. Simple. Rinse this out and, uh, you know, ready to go. So, Anyways, I wanted to share that with you. I appreciate you watching the views. I'm beginning to get some comments. I'm beginning to get some emails. So I appreciate all that from you. And uh, please check for um, links down in the description. Um, if you like these blenders that I review, uh, if you could buy through my website or buy through the links in the description, I do make a little bit of commission. It costs you nothing more to buy that way. But it does help me out to uh, buy other blenders and, and bring uh, some reviews to you. So this is Randy with SmoothieMakersHQ.com, and I'll talk to you later.